Let's talk AI art. If you've been hearing all the buzz lately about using AI tools to make money online, but maybe have been unsure on how to start or a bit intimidated about the thought of using an artificial intelligence tool, you're in the right place, friend. In today's video, I'm breaking down two of the absolute easiest products to get started with when using AI to create products to sell online. I'm walking you through one of my favorite AI tools that I've been experimenting with, how to create your designs, how to make sure that you're downloading the right file type to sell, and which platform platforms to use to actually sell your products on. I'm super pumped to dive in, so let's go. If we haven't met yet, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mom, Etsy seller, and business coach, and I'm here to help you start and scale your online business so that you can make a full-time income doing what you love. Before we dive in, I just wanna quickly recap what AI even is for those of you who may be new to this whole world of artificial intelligence. There are a lot of tools rising to the top now that people are using with artificial intelligence to generate things like text and images. There are a lot of different text-to-image tools. I'm gonna show you one of my favorites in just a minute, but that basically means that it's an AI or artificial intelligence tool that you type in a phrase to describe the image you want, also known as a prompt, and it takes the information that you give it in the prompt and it uses artificial intelligence to generate an image for you that you can then use however you want. In this case, we're talking about using these images on products to sell. Now, I know some of you are probably already wondering about copyright and licensing information, so don't worry, I'm gonna cover that in just a little bit. So today we're talking about two of the easiest products that you can get started with using AI, one being a digital product and one being a print on demand product. Now, before I ever even started creating these products, I wanted to validate that my product ideas were actually in demand on the Etsy platform. You could sell these on a lot of different platforms, but I'm an Etsy seller, so I immediately go to Etsy to check the stats. One digital product I was thinking of was a printable wall art set. So I went on Etsy and I typed in Safari Animal Wall Art Print and looked at the results that came up. I could see that this type of product definitely sells well on Etsy with the top listed product coming out at an estimated monthly revenue of over $22,000 just for one listing. The next one down making just over 10,000 and the next one over 4,000. So I see that these are really popular, specifically these Safari Animal Wall Art Prints on Etsy. Then I wanted to check an all over print print on demand item like a mouse pad. So on Etsy, I typed in mouse pad and compared the results. I could see that this was also a viable idea because I could see, for example, this listing for a cottage core mushroom mouse pad was making an estimated monthly revenue of over $1,800. Now keep in mind, this is just for that one listing. So that shop, if it's full of those successful print on demand listings, it's making a lot of profit each month. So after validating my product ideas, then my next step was to hop onto one of my favorite AI tools Kittle. Kittle is an amazing graphic design software with a lot of different capabilities, but recently they introduced their new AI tool, which I've been having so much fun exploring. So I came onto Kittle's AI prompt book to look at what they offered for their text to image tool. The first style that I came across that they offer with their AI tool is an image style. They have a lot of different image styles. These are styles that will generate a full image, everything from digital art to foggy scenery to an oil painting style, impressionism, anime, Art Deco, Vintage Photo, you can read all about every single style they offer here on their prompt book. But then they also offer clip art styles. Unlike the image styles, the clip art styles are fine too to generate isolated illustrations instead of an entire image. So these are things like a product shot, a pencil drawing, a kawaii icon, color splatter, cyberpunk, watercolor, lots of different fun styles for clip art. They also offer an AI background remover, which you know I love because you can automatically remove the background, making your image that you generate transparent in the background so that you can layer it onto anything you want, whether it be a print on demand product or a digital design. Then I read about their third style, which is a vector style. Vector images are amazing because they can be scaled up to any size that the person using it would like without losing any quality of the image. So under these styles, you can generate icons, street art, silhouettes, line art, stencil photos, and vector art. Then they've got pattern styles. So if you're interested in creating a product, which we'll go into in just a minute, that uses a repeating pattern, it can generate that for you as well. These styles vary from artistic to baroque to flat, texture, painted, cute, wallpaper, you name it, they can generate that style pattern for you. Okay, so I decided the first product I wanted to try to create with Kittle was a digital product, and it's specifically a file for 
or printable wall art. So my first step on Kittle was to open up a new project and determine the right size and resolution I wanted the project to be in. Since this is printable wall art, I went with their poster preset, which is a size of 16 by 20 inches, and I wanted a minimum of 300 DPI for the resolution to make sure that when the image was printed out by the customer that it wouldn't lose any quality. So for this digital file, I wanted to try experimenting with the first three styles that Kittle offers in their AI. The first one being that image style that creates a whole image. I was really intrigued by the Art Deco style, so I selected Art Deco in the AI tool and typed in peach and blue flowers. Kittle's AI then generated this amazing image for me. Right off the bat, I could see using this to sell on Etsy as a printable wall art if I added some text to it. But I wanted to try around also with the clip art style. So then I chose the color splatter option under clip art and typed in safari animal set. I was curious to see if it could generate something similar to the ones I had researched on Etsy earlier. It then generated this image for me with a lot of different safari animals in it, which was really cool. But then I thought maybe I would offer a set with just one individual animal in each picture that could go together. So then I typed in safari animal lion. Look at this lion image. Isn't this amazing? Especially in this color splatter style, which is so trendy. I wanted to see if I could generate another one that might go along with it as a set. So then I changed lion to zebra and got this really cool color splatter zebra. Continuing my exploration of this clip art style, I changed from the color splatter to the kawaii style. I wanted to see if it could generate something really cute for me. So I typed in cute green cactus. It generated this cactus image for me, which I then added some text to, to have a really cute quote that might go in a kid's bedroom. Something like bloom where you are planted. I changed the text to the font that I wanted and got it sized just right. So I could picture this as a piece of printable wall art. So then I wanted to move on and try the vector style. I specifically chose the line art option under the vector style and wanted to give it a little bit more of a challenge. So I typed in country of Africa with flower inside. Kittle AI once again blew me away with this image that it generated, which is so cool. And that line style would be amazing as a printable piece of wall art. I wanted to add a little extra oomph to it. So I added a little bit of a background color as a square element behind the image that was generated. I loved how this one turned out so much that I went to go ahead and download this and made sure to choose the right resolution, which is a minimum of 300 DPI, as well as the file type that I wanted to download it as. I usually go for PDF or JPEG when selling this kind of product online. I love that Kittle also gives you the option to remove the background when you're going to download if you'd like to make it a transparent background for things like I mentioned before, using in digital products or layering on print on demand products. Now, I wanna mention that you do need the upgraded Kittle plan. There are several different Kittle plans. There's a free one, but you do need the upgraded one for some of these features, which I'm really excited to let you know that Kittle has been so generous as our sponsor today to offer everyone watching a 30 day free trial to their paid pro plan. To grab your free trial, you can go to Kittle linked below and use the code Kate July, and that'll give you 30 days of ability to play around on that pro plan. Use some of these upgraded features and see what you think. My next step after downloading would then be to list that file as an instant download product on my Etsy shop or wherever my sales platform is. So I've created the digital product but now I want to test Kittle with print on demand products, specifically an all over print print on demand product. Real quickly, if you're not familiar with print on demand, it's basically a process where you are the designer of products like t-shirts and tote bags and hats. There are a lot of different print on demand options these days for products, but you don't have to actually create, bill or ship the order yourself. You design it and you partner with a print on demand supplier who then takes your orders that come in. They actually create the products for you and ship them. So all you have to do is the first part of designing. Using an AI tool like Kittle and partnering with a print on demand company to produce physical products is an amazing and easy way to get your feet wet with starting to use AI for selling products online. There are a lot of great print on demand companies, but for today's example, I'm using Printify. I'm going to show you how you would take your designs that you create with your AI tool and load them onto products to sell using a print on demand company like Printify. For this print on demand product, I'm specifically focusing on the pattern style of Kittle's AI tool to see what kind of repeating patterns it can generate for me so that I can use those on my all over print 
print products. I'm specifically thinking of a journal cover and a mouse pad for this one. So again, I'm going to begin by creating a new project on Kittle, going to Kittle's AI tool and trying out some different options under the pattern style. So the first one I was drawn to was this cute style. I wanna see what kind of cute pattern this could create for me. So I typed in for the prompt, cute cats wearing glasses. Right off the bat, it came up with this adorable image that I could use on a lot of different print on demand products. But before I settled on that pattern, I wanted to try out a few more, so I went to the wallpaper style. For this one, I typed in rich, deep, jewel toned colored flowers. Again, loving this image that it generated for me with these beautiful, rich colored flowers. Thirdly, I switched over to the artistic style and typed in peacock feather boho pattern. Check out this amazing pattern that Kittle AI generated for me. This is right up my alley and something that I feel like a lot of people would purchase if it was on something like a journal cover. Side note here, if you were using a pattern for something like a journal cover, you might wanna add some extra text to it before downloading the image. But I'm gonna go ahead and download this and bring it over to Printify and see what it looks like when I put it on a print on demand product. So I got over to Printify and I searched for the type of item that I wanted. So I searched first for journal. I chose the one I wanted and dragged my recently downloaded repeating pattern from Kittle over to my product on Printify. Once I have my pattern set on my print on demand product, I can click preview and it shows me exactly what it would look like as a finished product. I wanted to play around with all the different designs I had come up with, so I switched the files out to see which one might look best. Then I moved on to the mouse pad. So I went back and searched for mouse pad on Printify, chose the one I wanted, dragged my pattern file over from Kittle, and there it is. How cute is that mouse pad? This is something I feel like would be super popular on Etsy. And you see how absolutely easy that was. I had to do barely any work. All I had to really do is think of the prompt to use for the AI tool and put it on my print on demand product. Okay, so I'm sure you're wondering about licensing. Does Kittle allow us to use these images that we're generating on their platform for commercial usage, which means selling on products? I asked Kittle specifically about this and they said you can use AI generated content for commercial projects as long as you follow our terms of use and licensing. It's important to keep in mind that Kittle does not assure that the images generated will be suitable for use, especially if they resemble someone else's work. If you plan to use the images for commercial purposes, such as selling them, it's recommended to consult with a legal expert to ensure compliance with local laws. So from this, I want to point out two things. Number one is the terms of use and licensing. I'll have both of those linked below so you can read in depth. But basically what this is saying is that the images that you generate using Kittle are allowed to be used for commercial purposes as long as they abide by their licensing terms. However, Kittle is not liable for any copyright issues you might come into if you try to sell something that resembles someone else's work or that would be an intellectual property infringement. An example of this would be if you generated a Mickey Mouse image using Kittle's AI and tried to sell a product on Etsy with that Mickey Mouse image, you were then infringing on Disney's intellectual property because you're not allowed to use an image of Mickey Mouse. So all this is saying is that you need to be responsible when you're creating images to sell commercially and know that Kittle is not at fault if you tried to sell something like that that was already copyrighted or trademarked. Now looking a little bit further at their licensing here, we can see on this page they tell us permitted uses and prohibited uses. So Kittle is saying we are allowed to use these images for our own personal projects, for our own commercial projects, or for commercial projects commissioned by third parties. And there are several other permitted uses here, but let's take a look at what's prohibited. You cannot do anything that would compete with Kittle's business. This includes sharing, selling, distributing, or making designs available for download on platforms that compete with the Kittle platform, including image stock platforms, digital marketplaces, or cloud-based design software. This is basically saying that you can't use your image to upload to a platform that competes with Kittle or start your own company like Kittle that would compete with it using these designs. The second prohibited use is claim rights to register designs. This includes the registration of designs as such and or using parts of a design as for trademarks, design marks, trade names, service, or other marks. So basically you're not allowed to use any image that you've generated with AI on Kittle to register as a trademark. And the third prohibited use here is mislead the Kittle community if designs were created with AI features. One amazing thing about Kittle is that it has a whole community of people that share templates and they share their designs. So this is just saying the prohibited use is to mislead the Kittle community and claim that you created a design completely yourself and you don't disclose the use of the AI tool. Now I will say in addition to these prohibited uses, you wanna be careful as well with whatever sales platform or sales channel you are actually uploading your products to sell 
Elon because they all have different rules regarding AI and some will allow you to sell AI products, some will not. So you just wanna make sure whether it's Etsy or a different marketplace that you check into that and make sure that your sales platform allows you to sell products created with AI. Other than that, Kittle is actually really generous with their terms and licensing and loves to see people use their images for commercial products. Like I said, I'll link Kittle's licensing and terms of use below so you can read further on those if you'd like. All right, friends, well, I hope you hop over and try out Kittle. Remember to sign up for your free 30-day trial of the pro plan using the code KATEJULY. And I can't wait to see all of the amazing designs you create. Talk soon, friends.